Hello everyone, Fontaine Pen's writing here with a new Fontaine Pen review. Today we are going to take a look at the Lamy Safari Black. Let's start. As you can see, there is no box or packaging for this pen. I bought it directly from a display stand, so we can jump straight on the description. The Lamy Safari is a flat top fountain pen made of the common APS plastic used almost for every plastic object we have. On the top of the cup uh, you can find a finial which is always black regardless of the color of the pen and for the fountain pen shows this particular plus or X. The cup angles sliding up and has no ring or band whatsoever. The clip is a simple wire uh, with this particular design. It, it is easy to put it in a pocket thanks to the turn up at its bottom. There is a small step down to the barrel which has two flat and two rounded uh, sides. On the flat sides there are two ink windows that always line up with the part of the section where you put the proprietary cartridge or converter. Um, here you can see the logo Lamy on one side engraved. The cup is nip up. Uh, you open it and you see the triangular section and the nib. In this case a fine black stainless steel nib. The grip section is the no-go for me. It's supposed to help uh, the user grip the pen but the problem is it does it the wrong way. We will take a look at this issue in a minute. The nib is a proprietary steel nib which has these wings that wrap around the feed and this makes it easy to replace the nib with another one, just like that. And here is a look at the proprietary plastic feed. You unscrew the barrel and you can see this part of the section where you put the cartridge or the converter. If you are using a cartridge you put the cartridge here and then simply twist the barrel down and this will pierce the cartridge. A blue cartridge is provided with the pen. The proprietary Z28 converter on the other hand is not provided and you have to buy it separately. As you can see the converter has two small plastic tabs which fit into this part of the section where the large U-shape uh, of the section aligns with the ink windows on the barrel. Now it's time for a comparison. The Lamy Safari is a full-size pen here in comparison with the Platinum 3776, just a medium-size pen and with a wall Eversharp deco band, which is an oversized pen. Here you can see all the pen uncapped, the pen can be paused deeply and securely. As I said during the description, the triangular section of the pen is a problem because it forces you to hold the pen in the wrong way. And yes, there is a wrong way and the right way to hold the fountain pen, as I learned from the books of the old masters of penmanship. The right way is to hold the pen with the index above the nib. In this way, the pen is aligned with your forearm pointing to your shoulder. The forearm becomes the pivot point and this allows you to have the wrist and the hand as relaxed as possible. By holding the pen with this triangular section, the pen is misaligned in relation to the arm, the wrist is twisted and you find yourself writing in the direction of the palm of the hand instead of from left to right, forcing you to twist the hand and make it very difficult to achieve the necessary consistency in writing the letters. Once I got used to the correct way to hold the pen, it becomes impossible for me to go back, too uncomfortable, and this is why I avoid any section with this shape. 
back to how this pen writes this particular nib has a lot of feedback too much for me it is not scratchy but it is really too much As always, for all my writing samples, I use the Waterman Blue to get a consistent comparison between the nibs to see if they are dry or wet. As you can see, the nib behaves well when writing vertically, but the horizontal lines are very dry. This creates the excess of feedback mentioned above. The nib is hard, so there is no point in looking for any line variation. The Lamy Safari is an injection molded plastic fountain pen that means that quality control and consistency is very high. Tolerances are fine, the pen is very robust and well designed, except the grip section. And that is the point. My no-go is the grip section. I paid almost 23 euro what included to get the pen with the converter, but due to the grip section that was a mistake. Regardless how, how low the price is, if the pen is not comfortable to use and force you to write in the wrong way, it is not worth buying. Fortunately, almost all other Lamy models have a non-triangular section, so if you are a Lamy fan but want to learn the correct way to use this tool, you have plenty of choices with other models. And that's all. Thank you for watching this video, if you like it please consider leaving a thumb up. For the next review we will take a look at a custom pen from Pinteo. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, you won't miss that video. See you soon.